I was raised in a religion that kept me from knowing my own soul. For the love of life, please lead me astray. If only that I might find myself when I've been pulled away. Ironically, this religion told me that I would gain my soul if I believed what it taught. And so, of course, because it was taught in fear, I had no choice but to believe it. My very life was at stake. There were red flags early on that I noticed even as a child. Intuitive inclinations that led me to question what I was being taught. But because everyone around me was practicing this religion, it felt wrong to question it. And it wouldn't be until my mid-twenties before I completely released myself from my old belief system. Meditation and the practice of yoga was the gateway out of the fear-based indoctrination that I was raised in. I went to my first yoga practice when I was 19 years old. I was immediately overtaken and transfixed by the deep soulful connection and reverence for life that yoga offers to people from all walks of life. I was delighted to find that there was no set belief system or set of rules that one must adhere to in order to practice this sacred and ancient art. For the first time in my life, I felt that I had found something that felt like truth. I felt like someone had handed me the keys to my own soul. You see, I was always told to fear myself, my soul. I was told that I was inherently made to fail, inherently flawed. I was told that if I tried to connect with my own soul, that I would go astray. But this ancient Eastern practice helped to rewire my mind and taught me how to become one with my soul and with the spirit that flows through all of life. My journey of practicing yoga became a journey of coming home. When I was in my early 20s, I was warned by a counselor to be wary of Eastern practices. She told me that they would lead me away from God. She told me that they would tempt me to feel as if I had power. But only God holds the power, she said. And because I was so deeply conditioned, I believed her. So good. It wouldn't be for another few years before I would begin to question her and the fear that she held towards anything outside of her own religious beliefs. Despite being surrounded by people and a belief system that wanted to protect me from myself, I still found myself being ushered away from my old beliefs and into a more expanded and freeing 
way of living. Throughout my unlearning and awakening, I would often ask myself, what does love feel like? And I was always guided into a deeper connection with my own soul and into a state of oneness with the universe. To me, this felt way more like love than the distorted and conditional love I was raised to believe in. To be told that I was inherently lovable and that it was my birthright to feel connected to a deep sense of oneness with the spirit. This was a whole new way of seeing the world and my place in it. The only thing I knew to do was to keep following the voice of love, to keep connecting deeply with my own soul and to trust where I was being guided, which was eventually completely away from my old religion. This process was grueling, terrifying at times and extremely unsettling. Questioning everything I once believed was extremely ungrounding for me. It created an intense level of anxiety in my body as I slowly released everything that was once familiar to me. The only thing I could do was keep asking, what does love feel like? And I came to know a deeper love. Stars above and hell below, do you know where you will go? To a place that feels like home Somewhere you belong The world has opened up for you Don't you dare take it for granted From one soul to another Are you having trouble? A love that told me I had always been enough. A love that told me my true nature was divine. A love that told me it was safe to be in deep union and connection with my own soul and that there was absolutely nothing to fear when I journeyed inward. This was the beginning of my awakening journey. I began to move deeper and deeper into alignment with my spirit and the spirit of nature. This opened up a natural ability for me to begin channeling. I started channeling higher energies and connecting more deeply with my multifaceted, multidimensional soul. My relationship with the divine was being healed as I began to embody more of my own divinity into my human body here on earth. For the love of life, please lead me astray. If only that I might find myself when I've been pulled away. Allow my perfectly built towers to fall. If only that I might be reborn in the rubble. Keep me from drowning, but please let me feel what it feels like to be taken over, gasping for breath, 
so that I may learn to cherish this breath. Hold my hand, but let me feel the tug of war between what is fighting to stay alive and what needs to emerge. Open me up to grieve what is no longer alive, a truth that once was, but is no more. Wipe my tears when I leave behind the things I once held in my heart. Sweep me up and hold me close as I fall from grace. Please don't leave me. Teach me to trust in the dark and promise me that you will be on the other side waiting for me. Pull me across time and through my lineage to the moment when I finally feel what true love feels like. And so it is. <laughs>